Today we picked up about 2,500 juvenile lake sturgeon from Warm Springs National Fish Hatchery in Warm Springs, Georgia. So these juvenile lake sturgeon are part of a larger reintroduction program that's been going on for more than 20 years. We are doing this as part of a larger lake sturgeon reintroduction program that's been going on since 1998. They're an important part of this ecosystem that had been missing for a long time because the lake sturgeon was extirpated from the Tennessee River. Extirpated means there were no more lake sturgeon in the Tennessee River, or at least not enough that scientists believe they could reproduce on their own. A few scientists from Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute got to travel to Wisconsin with scientists from Warm Springs National Fish Hatchery to do the spawning at the Wolf River for these lake sturgeon. We are going to grow out these lake sturgeon until they're about six inches or larger and then release them into the Tennessee River. Each of these juvenile lake sturgeon will hopefully one day grow big and strong and eventually reproduce so that the population can survive on its own without these reintroduction efforts. It's always an exciting day when we pick up the juvenile lake sturgeon because this is one of our biggest projects in the propagation room here at Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. We have hired a whole summer staff that's excited to get their hands on working with these lake sturgeon. So it's a really exciting day for everyone. We're also just anxious in general because this is a tough project. It's a lot of work, but we're excited to see them grow and get to reintroduce them later on in the fall into the Tennessee River.